Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Um, exciting today because we're starting a new project. Um, I haven't finished the Flower Fairies and the Beatrix Potter one yet, um, and that's ongoing. It's it's hasn't gone away. It's going to be they're going to be finished. But I just thought, well, you might remember that I mentioned last time. I hinted towards a giveaway. Um, when we get to 500 subscribers. Hi Debbie, morning. Um, so what could the giveaway be? Well, could be this ring bound journal. It just could be. So you've got to really push. Hi Regina, morning. We've got to, you've got to really, really push, please, and get me up to 500 subscribers and then uh, we'll have a giveaway and which very well might be this ring bound journal. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? So anyway, how, how, where have I got to so far and what's going on? Uh, blah, blah. Right. Well, this is, this is one of the pages for the ring bound journal. It's, if you watched Mr. Fix It last Sunday, you remember he's going on about this grey card, which I think is 700 grams per square meter so it's thick i mean regular copier paper is 80 just to give you a clue this is 700 so it's thick but it's not you know it's got some give in it but it's good enough it's fine for what we want um and he's um he's cut them out and then he's covered the edges with this patchwork cotton pink fabric um so as when i mount my pages on it there's still this lovely border of pink cotton around it, which I think is very, very pretty. And that's what we're going for with this journal. We're going pretty. We're going pretty overload. Pretty mad. Oh, I'm that already. Um, and so this is kind of the hinge part of it, this part here. And it's got three uh, grommets, washers, eyelets, eyelets in it. And what happens is you get these, um, these, split there and you load all your pages and your back and your front and everything onto it um, which means that they're easy to flip through and also for whoever ends up with it they can easily take a page out if they're if they're going somewhere going on holiday going away for the weekend going shopping whatever you can take a page out with you or you can rearrange the pages to suit the, the order that you want. I'm a great fan of ring bound journals. I really like making them. I like the finished product. Um, and actually out of all the journals that I make, they sell the best. So you can see what I'm up to here. That goes on there. This is the page that, how it will be presented. And I've got a little pocket here uh, that I decoupage. This is decoupage and I've stuck on a massive sort of rose that was cream and I've just gone over it a little bit with my distress ink just to pink it up a bit um, and I've put lace down there and white lace and all this bling can you see the bling <laughs> and then I've made a little notebook because don't lose sight of the fact this is a journal and people need to have room to journal in so I've put a little um oh they have a name these I don't know what, what it is but I printed out notes on the computer, then I distressed it with um, tea dye, I think it was, um, distress ink. I got a journal card sewed around it. There's a doily up here that I've stained pink, and then this explosion of flowers. And it is um, a, a proper journal with loads and loads and loads of pages in. And when you're finished, you can just tear them out if you want to and leave them in, whatever. And I've sewn it all together on the on the top and that slides in there. And then when you open it up further, bear in mind that'll be stuck onto there. On this side, it, it's fairly plain, I guess. I've made a, a pocket. Uh, I put this, stuck this journaling card on with some ribbon, some bling, some of this liquid pearls around there. And that looks nice, pretty. Uh, and I've put these journaling cards in there, but I'm not saying they're going to stay in there or all of them are going to stay in there. Um, but that's where they are for the time being. So there's plenty journaling to be had on the back of there. 
And then this page is, um, it's a pocket to start with, and it's got this massive um, journaling card in it, which slides in there. You'll see I've done the same, it's the same lace uh, back and front on that page there. And that slides into there, and it's got this tag on it, so people know there is actually something in there. Then we've got this big journaling page, um, pretty pretty, goes into a pocket, um, and the pocket I've embellished and put liquid pearls all the way around, uh, just madness, and this little journaling card, a tiny little bit of lace on the top, and I've sewn around it. And some doily and some flowers and there's some doily around the back there as well so that's that that's that page now with ring bound um journals you can get away with being a bit thick <laughs> i am a bit thick but you can get away with your pages being a bit thick is what i really meant um Whereas in a, in a journal, in a book type journal, you're always looking to keep the bulk down, keep your pages thin, thin, thin. With ring bound journals, you can have it a bit more, uh, a bit more bulk, which is great. It gives you loads of freedom. So that's finished. It just needs stuck on there. But I, I wanted to show you what the page looked like before it was stuck on. So that's ready to go now, that page completed. Um, so we're ready to embark on today's odyssey, <laughs> which will go on the back. Um, so who have we got? Debbie, Regina. Hi, Paula from Fairy Chic Emporium. Um, Hilda. Hi, Hilda. Nice to see you here. Thank you very much. It's a lovely day here in the uh, Cumbrian Fells. I hope it's nice with you, Hilda. And there we go. Right. So for today's, we're going to make, we're going to make a fold out and it's going to sort of pull all the way out. You've got to trust me on that at the moment because it doesn't look very much like a pull out at the moment. The pages need to be hinged so that you can actually pull it out. Okay. And what you could do is what we normally do is crease your page, fold it over and stick it on the back. I imagine that these are, these hinges are going to get quite a bit of use flopping backwards and forwards. And I'm not altogether happy just using paper. It, it, it tires, it distresses. Hi, Desiree. Um, oh, thanks, Debbie. That's lovely. Yeah, super day in England, Hilda. Make the most of it. Well, you can't, but you know what I mean. Um, so I've just I've opted to make sellotape hinges, and I'll show you how I make those. They're they're just a bit more. They've got a bit more to them, I think. Take a bit more um, strain than just paper. So it's the age old thing, isn't it, with sellotape? Where's the blooming end? So what I do is I just uh, take a bit off, put it down, uh, sticky side up, cut it off, and then go over the top, sticky side down. So you're making a sticky sandwich, if you like. Press that down. Cut that off. And there we have it. I mean, if you had a piece of plastic, strong plastic would do the same. All I'm trying to do is get some some strength and you can bend that, you know, a million times and it won't give um, which paper would. So I've gone ahead and I've stuck three of my um, flip outs, if you like, on already. And they're going to come from here. So this is the next one. And at the moment, all I've done is cut these to the width that I need. Uh, and the width that I need to go on my page is five and three quarters. And all I've done is cut them at inch intervals. Because um, it's that's not that important at the moment. So the heights of them aren't important at the moment is what I mean to say. So 
let's just check I've got this the right way. Yeah, that's the right width. So that's going to get added to there. And when you add it, make sure that you allow a little bit of a gap here, a bit of breathing space, so they can actually fold on each other. Um, which side do I want up? It doesn't really make much difference because we're going decorating them anyway. Um, yeah, I'd like that side up. So that means I need to stick that side to that side. Mr. Fix, it's just checking I'm doing it right. Good, glad he's on the ball because you know so often I'm not. <laughs> right, so in order to stick that down, I'm going to use my snail glue. You can use uh, double sided tape, you can use, use out your light to get it stuck down. This is just fast for the um for the live you can put glue on top of that as well if you don't really trust it and go right up to the top you can go above the top if you want to um i was going to replace that but it's uh, reposition it but it's stuck itself so that's that and it's going onto this one here so we want some glue down this side and we want it to go up to there. I can't, I can't see over myself. So I'm just doing that like that. So this then sticks on to there. Now, like I said, leave a gap. It doesn't have to be a big gap. It's not, nothing like quarter of an inch, not even eighth of an inch. It's just a workable gap. Like that. And then you'll see when we bend it, it, it bends. Lovely, lovely job. Marvellous. Smashing. So cut off the excess. You don't have to be super tidy about the top or the bottom at this stage. Right, so let's see where we're at. That's where we're at. So I want this piece to go onto this hinge like that. And same, same process again. Bit of glue. Just mark where I want that to come to. Just there. And some glue down here too. Regina would like to know whether you craft do you do it standing up or sitting down? Sitting down, Regina. No way I'm standing up. That's too much like hard work. That's just a bit on the close side, that one. I think you get a better perspective if you stand up. I'm pretty sure you do, in actual fact. Um, but I sit down. I, I, I craft for hours a day. I mean, hours and hours and hours. Um, so, right, so there we are. We've got our um, pull-out. It's quite a long one. It's quite a big one. So the next thing that we need to do is you can leave it like that if you want, if you like the stepped look to it. I actually want it to be on an angle. So I'm going to have to lay this out and hope that I can find enough room on my messy table and get my ruler out. And I want it to come from there all the way down beneath <laughs> beneath this one. So it's just that there's no there's no right and wrong. There is no right and wrong. Just you see now why it didn't matter about being tidy up here because it's all getting chopped off anyway. I might want a slightly bigger angle than that. It I can't tell you what the angle is, I haven't got a clue. Just 
something like that and make sure that your point of your of your first page is where you're going to start cutting. I have to do more standing to craft unless I'm painting or in bed at night to sign up my journal. <laughs> um, right, so I'm just going to cut this off. It is an interesting question though whether you stand or, or sit. Um, I think for measuring you're probably much 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 better off to stand to be honest. I, I mean I don't but I think you would be much better off. So put your ruler on again and follow that line that you've created. My ruler is not long enough. I, I mean maybe if you had a yard long ruler you'd be all right but I think you're pretty much on that line. And just finish it off this bottom bit here. Right. Okay. So this is, it's pretty much waste. I mean, you can keep it if you think you're ever going to use these pieces, which, you know, is a possibility. So let's have a look at what we've created. So flippity floppity flippity flop. Lovely. We've got a spare bit of something here that I don't need. Um, and the same now you really need to do to the bottom just to tidy up all those bits of sellotape and whatever. Um, so make sure it's lined up good and square. Get your ruler on the job. Like I say, make sure it's lined up good and square. Okay, I think we're all right at that. Seems to want to move under me. And line, line it up with the edge, the edge of the edge. I'm not all sure happy that that is square. I think when it's square, it's just the sellotape that needs to come off. So I'm just going to take the sellotape off like that. Right, let's have a look then. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Like it. And all of that pulls out and that page will be stuck to the thing. Or you can pull it out that way. So... What have we got ourselves? We've got ourselves a whole load of decorating. And don't we just love that? I, I love it. I love it. I've been, um, I make quite a lot of decorated boxes as well. And I've been out through my um, flowers today. I've been in the flower department of my, <laughs> of my stash. And I've found some really nice things that I think would be super to put on our um, journal. These lovely pink beads um well kind of pearly things they're lovely there's dark cerise flower little flowers a bit of ribbon this is like cork it's sort of a cork heart and it's got some raffia attached to it which i thought might look quite nice oh i've lost my thing oh no don't worry um i thought that might look quite nice sort of on the front bearing in mind what i'm saying to you about bulk bulk isn't our enemy um on this one like it is on a lot you know something like that maybe would look would look nice um i've got all, all sorts of stuff i've got a, a button um i've got these which i don't know if you can see but they they are super super sparkly and might look quite nice but you know we're a little ways away from that stage at the moment at the moment, we've got sellotape showing, which is nobody's best friend. I don't like having sellotape shown, but it's a it's, um, necessary evil in this case. So I could put some lace down there, which would just get rid of that in a second. And I've got this really cheap, uh, very thin lace. 
but it would do that job perfectly, to be honest. And it wouldn't impinge on the folding because it's really, really thin. So that's a possibility. Or alternatively, I could take a piece of paper, any paper at all, and pretty much cover that if you really wanted to. I think that would, yeah. Or we could just decorate it with some nice pockets and fluff and stuff and use the lace down that side. I've got some sort of white lace, I've got doilies, I've got, oh, you name it, man, I've got it. Um, all sorts of stuff. I've also got this really nice that I printed. This is from My Porch Prints on Etsy. Uh, these are downloadables and I printed these last night because they really are so pretty, I thought. So I'm wondering whether we should just make a pocket with that. Make a large pocket with that and embellish it with some of this lace. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, guys. So we're going to cut it so it's a bit less than the width of this. And then we're going to put this lace around the whole pocket. This is me thinking on my feet. I'm, you know, it might work, it might not. But yeah, like that. I mean, it's going to have three sides. Well, does it need to have three sides? Not really. Anyway, 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 anyway. Let's make a pattern for our for our pocket. Just come down a little bit from the top. And I'm literally going to draw around it. I don't want all of it um, covered, but you'll see why I've drawn around that now. So we'll cut that out. So how's everybody's junk journal coming on? What are you working on at the moment? You've got to share. Uh, I haven't seen any photos from you recently, Regina. Are you still working on your journal? This is really pretty paper. As I say, it's from a My Porch Prints on Etsy. There's some gorgeous downloadables on Etsy. And you could go, you could go quite mad. I am quite mad. Yes, you're right. Right, so I'll get my scoreboard out. And I'm going to score half inch around here. One, two, three, four. Because this is just, it's paper, it's quite thick paper. Um, but I don't want to just make a pocket out of out of it without giving it a little bit of reinforcement. Because it's, uh, it's not thick enough to, to stand up to that, I don't think. And along here, get your corner in your corner. Have any of you lot got envelope punch boards? Yeah, they do, Regina, you're right. Uh, My Porch Prints, yeah, on Etsy, they sell um, downloadable delights. <laughs> Let's call it that. So I've scored that, so I'm just going to fold that in and press it down actually this this, uh, uh, this kit i can't remember what you call it now grandma's attic i think it's called grandma's attic i bought quite some time ago and when i went to downloads i couldn't i couldn't find it in my downloads 
anywhere. Um, so I've obviously saved it to somewhere else, but I've got no idea where. Um, but I went back onto Etsy and it was still there. So I could download it again, which was brilliant. So I'm folding in all my creases and going over them with my uh, bone folder. I'm not sure about that one, so I'll give it another go. Right, okay, so we've got some crazy angles going on here. But for these ones at the bottom, you need to just chop them off. Mr. Fix it's tormenting me by eating a Mars bar. And he's doing it in such a way that is tormenting. tormenting. <laughs> now I want this bit here, so I'm just going to cut this down here. And cut that off. Like that, so it'll fold in, it'll be fine. Okay, let's hope we're all right. Let's hope we're doing okay. Oh no, I need to get rid of that bit there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take another little, tiny little baby slice out of that. The baby slice. And then that bit there needs to be not like that, needs an angle on it. Right, because this isn't the normal size or shape pockets that we do. Um, is it guys? need to tidy that up right I think I think I think I think we should be all right yeah that's okay that's okay that's okay and that's okay lovely 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 so that's gonna go on to here and we should have a nice border all the way around it look at that bloody hell oh sorry Goodness gracious, aren't we doing well? <laughs> right, um, I'd like to sew around here just for the effect of it sewing, of, of it be, having been sewn. And I promised um, Mr. Fixit that I wouldn't be sewing today, so he didn't need to put the sewing cam on. But you know, um, I am. So I'm sorry, you won't be able to see me sew. Now, I don't want to sew it with these down like that because then I won't have any um, purchase in my pocket. So I need to open all these up again and then go round inside the, the crease that we've made. OK, because if, a, if this top one can be sewn down, in fact, it's a good idea to sew it down. But these ones, I want them like that. So as I've got a bit of room in this pocket. And if I sew them flat down like that, I'm just going to have a flat piece of card. Oh, howdy to Regina's cousin. I don't know what your name is, but howdy, howdy. Thanks so much for joining in. That's Hi, Sherry. Getting your coffee and muffins. Mr. Fix, it's eating Mars bars. You're with your coffee and muffins. <sighs> Punch boards, quite a few of them. Yeah, I'm thinking that I need a punch board. Oh, right. So let's have a look at this. So I'm just going to use a straight stitch. Look at that. He's fixed up the camera already. So as I said, I'm going to stitch this top bit down and then stitch inside the creases on the rest. So let's start down here. I just think it's going to give a nicer look to it. Not necessary at all, guys, can I tell you. 
it's absolutely not necessary but I'm doing it because I just fancy the idea of it Yeah. And Donna. Sorry? And Donna. And Flo. Well, hello everyone. Thanks so much for joining. Let's hope I don't muck it up today. So who have we got? Flo. Hi Flo. Hi Donna. That's nice of you to join me. I really appreciate it. I really do. So I'm just cutting off my ends and then you can see that I've, I've sewn this top flap closed and I've still got these. So what comes next is a bit of rinky dinky inking. This is worn lipstick. You remember me telling you I was absolutely cheesed off with doing everything brown, so now I'm going for colours. I'm going for colours, guys. I think they look prettier. Can I ask you people, um, as I said, I do an awful lot of journaling, you know, not not on video. Um, smaller part of it was probably definitely on video. But when I'm doing things like this, would you like me to video what I do and put it out on YouTube? Or, you know, if you really had enough of me with the lives. And I completely understand if you've had more than sufficient of me um, with lives. I'm just asking if you'd, you know, if you'd like to see how things progress when you're not around, um, then I can do that. Right, so that's going to go there. Bearing in mind all this is in aid, in aid of getting rid of our um, sellotape down the side. So... That needs to go along there. So yeah, that, that's going to work out all right, I think. Other way around, that way around. I think that's going to look pretty, don't you? But I think this pocket is a bit big just to be just a pocket on its own. It needs a bit of jazzing. It needs a bit of jazzing up, guys. So I might put... Um, just a corner flip on it, corner tuck, so we can, yeah, that's, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about, that's what's going to happen, for sure and definite, that's what's going to happen. I need to find some paper, I've been, I've been so good and put all my papers away, well not away, they're, they're here. Um, let's see, is this bit big enough? Yeah, I think that would be big enough. Cut that down a little bit. Just make it... Oh, look, the hearts go that way, though. And that isn't big enough that way. So let's see what else we've got in this. Well, I was going to use this for something else. As you can see, it's inked up. But that would look all right, I think. Do you think? Yeah, I think so. So I'll cut it off about there. Well, I'll, I'll crease it about there. Crease it there. Let's chop it off. <laughs> the Mars bar Hilda is just cruel, isn't he? He's, he's a cruel man. So cruel. <laughs> um, what am I doing here? So that goes, that's going to get creased over. Here's my sidekick. Last Sunday was more than a sidekick, it's fair to say, because he ventured out on his own and did um, a live on his own. 
um, which I know for a fact Regina enjoyed. <laughs> Didn't you, my little clown on Prozac? <laughs> yeah, try more lives, De Deborah. Uh, I don't know if there is a... Yeah, actually, I think it does say watch from the beginning. But then you'll miss out on the live chat. So you haven't missed a whole heck of a lot. So just, just stay with us. Stay with us now. You can watch it later if you want to um, catch up. But, you know, you haven't missed loads. Right, so, excellent. Let's fold that in. Press it down. I'm just going to cut off these little, these bits here. Because it's possible they will be seen. And I don't like that. Well, that's my dinner just going in the oven. <laughs> Tuna pasta bake. I love tuna pasta bake. So I'm just going to ink round there. I don't know whether to sew that on. Shall I sew that on? Um, I'm going to sew around it. I'm going to sew around it and glue it on, I think. So same thing. I've opened up the flaps at the side because I don't want to uh, sew it shut. If you're wondering about sewing on paper, then I have there's a video somewhere in my library about sewing onto paper. It's um, not that long ago, so it should be too buried. I do like the effect that you get from sewing. And I hope whoever gets this journal will like it too. sewing in white you could if you wanted to sew in a sort of cerise color or something like that uh, if you wanted it to really you know stand out or something very similar to that worn lipstick ink that I'm using might be quite nice um, a lot of people use black no matter what they're doing uh, that also stands out I just wanted as I said to you I wanted this to be super super pretty so I'm going to actually stick that onto there um, but before I do, I just need to check and see if I need to go to town a bit with this decoration. I need to do something to it. That's just way too plain. Way too plain. So what shall I do? What shall I do? Um, I'm looking through laces and... Oh my goodness me, it's just got so much lace here, it's ridiculous. So I've got this gingham lace. That's pretty. I like that. Um, I've also got these flat back pearls. Hello, where's the end? There we are. So I could put flat back pearls onto my gingham lace. There's still a whole lot of it here that's a bit empty. I don't know. Let's see if I've got some butterflies or something. Oh, I've just found this in the drawer. It's like a sort of pearl thing. I don't know. I'm going to give it a go anyway. I quite like it. 
So for those of you who are a bit later on, you might have missed me saying that, yeah, look, that's pretty, isn't it? Um, when we get to 500 subscribers on my channel, we are doing a giveaway. And the giveaway, well, you might just be looking at it. <laughs> um, you can enter wherever you are in the world. I will post it to you. Um, that's a bit strange. Oh, I think I might have wrecked this one. I'm not sure if I've wrecked it or not. Well, I'm going to give it a try anyway. I think you might have to peel sort of half of it off and stick it on. Oh, blimey. Yeah, this is more like me. This is much more like me. Oh no, look, see, we're all right. No need to panic. That's missing a little stone on the end, so I'm just going to cut that gluey bit off. Right, let's hope that that's going to stick then. Nice, isn't it? I just found that in my drawer. Didn't even know I had it. It's a little bit of black or something got stuck under there. There we are. It's gone. Can't be having that, can we? Right, so I just need something for the top and then I think we're away. But as I was saying, and I'm not going to be interrupted again, I'm saying it. We are having a giveaway, a grand giveaway, when we get to 500 subscribers. And I think at the moment we're about two, six, um, 460, something like that. So there's not too many to go. Uh, it's all doable. And whoever wins will have a giveaway live session. Everybody um, that's done what they're supposed to do got to get coffee. <laughs> no. Um, Everybody who's done what they're supposed to do will go in. Siri will select a winner and then you will receive this journal. I, I mean, it's a lovely prize, I think. Really nice prize. Right, so I'm back to this Blooming Gingham, which I like. Um, and I, I've got some nice fine white lace here. It's still new. It's still in its... Oh, I've got some here that's open. So it, were I to stick that on there, stick this over it. Yeah. Still going to need some bling. It's going to need some bling, folks. So I'm going to, um, what am I going to do? No, it's all right. I'll just use... So I'm going to stick that on. That's what I'm going to do. Stop messing around for heaven's sake. Honest to goodness, get on with it. Right, I'm using double sided. Because <laughs> I don't want the glue to come through the gingham and it very well might because it's um, kind of thin, man-made stuff. Pull, pull off the. No, I should have burnished that on first. I seem to have lost the presence of sense at the moment. There we go. Right, so let's put this over there, just down a touch from the top, so as you can still see a nice inked border. There we are. That's lovely. Very nice. I'm just going to bring that a little way round to the to the back, and I mean just a, a, a titchy bit, because um, I don't don't like the thought of the edges fraying at any stage. Because that would be awful. It would look cheap and nasty, and that's kind of not what we're about.
So it's going to take quite a while to uh, get all these leaves of this one page decorated. Um, you know what I mean? There's going to be a l many hours work going into this is all I can say. So stick that over. <laughs> Hello? Double sided doesn't come off. It's never done that to me before. Let's try a longer piece. Stick down. It's been a it's a bank holiday here this weekend. The bank holiday was actually on Friday, which is unusual for us. We're used to bank holidays on Monday, um, but it was Victory in Europe Day, um, and they wanted to celebrate, obviously celebrate that. Um, so we had a sort of Friday bank holiday. But everybody here in in the UK is still on lockdown. We, uh, we haven't had the go ahead to move out of our homes at all. We're still stuck in the house. Apparently, the Prime Minister is going to say something tomorrow about getting us out of lockdown a little bit, maybe even just a little bit. Um, if I put that there and then put these flat back pearls above it that would look quite nice i think yeah that's, that's what's going to happen folks so i'm actually going to glue that with um what is it what's it called it's called beacon three in one and if you live in the uk I can tell you where to get this because it's not the easiest thing to get. You can get it from uh, Isabel Clark at Scotch Farm. Hmm, what's it called, Mr. Victor? Lodge. Scotch Farm Lodge. That's right. Uh, Isabel stocks it. And I haven't managed to find it anywhere else in the UK. And her prices are good and she's lovely. So Scotch Farm Lodge is where you need to be. I think in the States it's slightly more accessible, isn't it? I believe that to be the case anyway. Um, but I think there's a problem with shipping it because it contains something that the airlines don't want to carry. And some glue on the back. Let's bring that over. A little bit. It doesn't want to stick. Okay, well, don't stick then. Forget about it. I have uh, that big bottle, as you've just seen, of the three in one. But what I do is I decant it into these smaller bottles. They're, they're soft, they're easier to use, easy on your hands, and much, much, much more controllable. Um, it saves you getting far too much glue out on things, etc. But you do need to remember always to put your pin in them. I think I got these from Amazon. They're dead cheap, but the nozzle is metal and uh, they're, they're a good thing, good thing to have. So I'm going to cut this off then now, seeing as it doesn't want to play ball in the gluing sticks. So I just want to check that that's glued down there because otherwise it doesn't look very nice because it'll fray, in time it will fray. So I'm just going to run this glue just down the edge there. That'll catch that in and stop it wafting about. There we go. I've got glue resistant lace here. <laughs> right, so the next thing is some of these flat back pearls. And I'm going to use the same glue and I'm just going to run it along the top there. A bead. I don't think you need too much for these. 
Um, these flat back pearls came from AliExpress, as do a lot of my trims and ribbons and laces and stuff. Yeah, you've got to be prepared to wait. You have, definitely. But, I mean, they're just so much cheaper than anywhere local. Okay. So if you've never been to AliExpress and you're a bit sceptical, um, you know, because you've never used them before and you don't know if they're secure, etc., etc., I've used them for many, many things over quite a long period of time now. And the only thing that they ever got wrong, I wish I could find them actually, I ordered, what, what was it we ordered? I can't remember what it was I ordered, but when it came, it didn't, it didn't feel like it was right. And when I opened it up, it was two really long earrings. I mean, re like four inch long earrings that were a dagger. <laughs> so that was way off. You know, that wasn't um, what I wanted. So there we are. There's this little uh, tuck spot done. And it's going to get glued onto here. So what I'm going to do is just make, because you know my eyes are wonky, people. You know I have wonky eyes. <laughs> I do. So I'm going to make myself a bit of a straight line along the bottom um, at an inch. I'm going to do it at an inch. And just make myself a little line. So that's the bottom. Now, I saw somebody do this the other day and I thought it was fantastic. I really uh, I really liked, liked it. Just need to cut off a little bit there. That's not sitting very nicely. Right, so yeah, what I saw somebody do the other day, which I thought was a pretty cool trick, is they put all their um, double-sided on. There has to be a more elegant way for me to use double-sided. I always seem to manage to get stuck in it somehow. Anyway, um, doing all right so far. And then they uh, obviously burnished that down. Like that. Then they took the bit off the bottom. Put a little bit of glue on it. Um, I'm using Aileen's tacky glue here. Um, that I've put in a little bottle and watered down and just a, a little bit just just to ensure it stays put really I don't think you probably need to do that but it's just reassuring and then what they did was they lined it up there with the bottom like that stuck the bottom down properly but they hadn't they weren't worried about this bit you see because it it still got its it still got the tape on so then you just do that bit there i mean it's maybe for just one-sided stuff like this it's not really necessary but if you're doing a big pocket or something and you don't want it to get stuck on the sides before you've got the bottom flattened out i thought it was a genius idea but I can't for the love of me remember who it was. So that's that. You just fold that up and stick it down. And there we are. So that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Um, so ultimately, of course, something will go in there. Um, like a 
at one of these cards that we've got in here, perhaps. Like, it's just a tad too big. They're all too big. Um, you get the drift. I know you get the drift. So, right then, the next thing to do is to stick this on. And then we can go around it with our lace. So I might employ the same trick here, actually. Just I think that's about three quarters of an inch. That's not going to be much use, is it? We had um, a, a very strange day yesterday. <laughs> we decided, because, well, we've got a Shih Tzu. Bobby is a Shih Tzu. I'm sure you've seen him around. Um, and we can't get to the groomers because the groomer is closed. So we, I mean, it was, it's getting warmer here and he was desperate to have his hair cut. So we decided we'd do it ourselves. <laughs> so when they go to the groomers, they usually have the collar on and there's a very short lead that they attach up to, I don't know, something, a hook or something on the wall. So I thought, yeah, that's the thing to do. We'll do them in the kitchen and we'll put his collar on, we'll, we'll fashion some sort of short lead out of something, um, tie him, well, didn't tie him, I held him actually, and um, Justin was going to be doing the clipping. <laughs> I w he was golden, the boy was absolutely golden, he really was. Um, it was us, we, we weren't quite so good really, and... We've we've got his back. We've got most of his tum. <laughs> we can't get his feet. We can't um, get his head or his tail. So, <laughs> so he looks kind of odd. He looks a bit like a yeti in the foot department. Reject poodle. Yeah, he look, yeah, he does. He looks like a reject poodle. But it's not that tidy. It's not like a poodle sort of tidiness. It's um. There's tufts on his back and everything. He looks, he looks a wreck, but, you know, we tried. And it's got to be cooler for him, surely, you'd think. But he doesn't seem to appreciate it. He's been in a right sulk since we did it, to be honest with you. I told you to hide the mirrors. <laughs> If he could have said anything yesterday when he went out for his walk, it would have been, please do not take me out there. People will laugh. <laughs> but obviously we can't stop and talk to people at the moment because um, we're in lockdown. So they might have thought he looked a bit odd, but nobody said anything. <laughs> it's his feet that are the worst because they're, <laughs> they're really, really... It looks like he's got teddy bear feet long teddy bear feet um, and then it just goes to these skinny skinny little legs <laughs> oh, but maybe maybe they'll open the groomers soon and we can I think that's fine there I quite like that let me just check that this lace is gonna cover what we need it to cover oh Maybe needs to come down. No, I don't know. I think that's all right. I think that's all right. So let's do this trick again of taking the bottom tape off, uh, putting a bit of glue on. By the time I finish decorating all these pages, I'll be an old woman. Oh no, hang fire. Already am. Already am. Okay, does does he right? Off you go to the uh, grocery shop. Hilda. Oh, did you? No, mean straight lines are no good at all either, Hilda, to be honest with you. They're absolutely not. I'm sure that you'll enjoy uh, using your your ruler. It takes the strain out of it. 
which is what we all need. Right. What size ruler did you go for, Hilda? The 12 inch one, 13 inch or whatever it is. They're all useful, like, you know, they are all useful. So that's that. Let's press that down as much as we can. And then attend to the sides. But I like that idea of putting the bottom down and you don't, you haven't got to then worry about, you know, touching the thing with your sides, which are all gluey and whatever. So tell everybody, please, to subscribe to my page because there's going to be this fantastic giveaway when we get to 500, no matter where you are in the world. You can be in Australia, you can be in America, wherever. I don't care, it's coming your way. Should you win. It's not going to be difficult to enter. You don't have to jump through a million hoops or anything. Oakley. I was in love with everybody. Everybody that's on this page is Amazon is in love with you. Right, so there we are. I think that's pretty all right. I love this paper. It's very, very complimentary. We've got this little tucky doodah there. So this is a nice big pocket here. And bearing in mind, I've got room at the top. I mean, it's going to go on a backboard. Obviously, I'm not just sticking this onto there. It's going to go onto a page. So I've got room at the top here to make a little um, tag. Hey. Or a big one even. Or yeah, well a big one. Yeah, massive one. So let's go for this. And I want that just in. No, I want it this other way so as it actually does hide the um solitaire. So yeah, like that. I think it's gonna look alright, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I just got this huge pile of lace here. <laughs> I'm glad I looked out the flowers because, yeah, we've really not had time to do anything with them. So I'm just going to start gluing this down, really. I should probably saw it down, but let's, let's just check this out. Should I put a, a tuck in the corner there like that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's going to look better. Right, let's see if I can find something to glue this down with. I'll try this uh, three-in-one. That should work if anything's going to work, I think. It's very, very fine, this uh, lace. Man-made and thin as out. Right then. I'd like you to know, those of me that watch me, I have I take medication which makes me shake. So it's not that I'm a raging alcoholic or anything. I don't even drink to be fair. Um but I do I do shake. I'm gonna sew this in afterwards. I just really want it to stick a little bit to help me. But it doesn't seem to want to, so I'll just add a bit more glue to the situation. And here, I'm just going to come straight around with the edge of it and make, form this little tuck here, which will be tidy, I think. Wow, that just reaches onto there, doesn't it? Yeah, sorry, you were going to say something? Yeah, sure, it's just running so you can have as many pages as you want in a journal. Yeah. The thing that uh, would stop you is the size of your ring, of the rings of your ring binder. Could you show the rings are here? Yeah. 
So that's all right because I can glue this down. Yeah, could you come in and just show them that are in them? Just from there, can you just show them here? What are you up? Well, just what a ring binder is and how it fits onto there and what the whole. Because if you weren't watching from the beginning, you won't have a blind clue what we're doing. Should I go and get the ring binder from upstairs? Yeah, that might be an idea. That might be an easier way of doing it. It's just if I don't proceed with this. Yeah, crack on. Go on. I'm cracking on. So same thing here as on the other side, right to the corner, then force it round the corner. I'm extremely shaky today. <laughs> and up to the top and we're hiding the sellotape that we wanted to hide. So all's good, all's good in the world. Bring that down a little bit there. Hold it down. Wow, this is looking pretty. It's looking really pretty. Um, <laughs> go away. I don't want you at the moment. So <laughs> that's quite fun. I'm shaking like a jellyfish. So there we are. That's that. And as I say, I'm going to sew that. And I'm also going to glue. Just give them... Uh, I've got to put my pin in. I've got to glue that. glue there. Just going to give those an additional bit of glue there to help them get the idea that they need to lie down. So there you go, guys. We're making progress. Do you think? Do you like? Do you like? Do you not like? Yeah. You do your, your own peaks hair and do you really? That's very brave. I mean, like I say, we tried it with Bobby and he looks absolutely out to Star Wars. <laughs> so I'm really, I'm with you, Hilda. I really hope they open soon. Right, so that's that. So do I need to, yeah, let me just show you this. Um, I'll just give that a moment to set up and I'll show you what a ring band journal looks like this is a kind of smaller one well it's no kind of this is a smaller one than the one i'm doing for the giveaway this is an edith holden one that is for sale in my etsy shop this is sari silk that i've tied it up with um sari silk is a useful very useful thing um for those of you in britain if you're looking for sari silk go to etsy and go to sue's creations I don't know the woman, but I've used her many a time. And she's very, very quick and good quality. Anyway, so this is an Edith Holden one. This is the front cover. It's made of quite rigid board, this one. And um, it's got an Edith Holden image on the front. Organza lace. Roses, blah, blah. And this is how it works. I was just going to have three because it's much larger. But these are the ring binders here. And if you can turn them around and you just unclip them like that and then you can take your pages out you can shuffle then shuffle them around you can take them out you know for a day for a weekend pop in your handbag whatever it is so uh, this is this one's a bit of an impromptu flip through um, that's just the book plate that I made into a tag uh, this is a little notebook um, the images, Edith Holden images, are my favourite. I mean, I absolutely love them, really do. Um, this, which we'll, we'll be doing on our journal, actually, it's uh, the whole page at the back of it. It's got a pocket and it's got two little journals in. Um, really nice, useful little journals. Ours, of course, will be much bigger because our journal's bigger. Then a little pocket at the front with two tags in, a little saying and decorated. It's pretty. Uh, this here, it's so long since I've seen this, I can't actually remember. Yeah, this is a little, that's the back of that, which is a big pocket with a big um, tag in it with some lace, etc. Then there's this one, which is a pocket uh, with a, a really nice little tag in there, some rickrack. 
um, this I painted that myself actually it um, I think on that one though I used a stamp I've got some Edith Holden stamps and I think I used the foxglove stamp and then painted it over but I think it's a nice addition to the book I like it here's just a little envelope um, you open it up and it's got paper inside um, this should be tied up I don't know why it doesn't but it um, it ties up it's got this beautiful isn't that gorgeous that with the roses on it um, and then this just opens up and it opens up again and we've got three pockets with lace on some silk some quotes etc three um, tags in it and it ties up sorry I didn't intend to do this impromptu walkthrough but you'll see what a ring bound journal is anyway that's that <laughs> no flow no I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not I think I've shown you all of that I can't remember now no maybe there's something on the back I don't know anyway here's the back of that um this is ah this is really pretty this is a machine embroidered piece made to look like cross stitch can you see that it was um it's done on, on the machine um, by Mr. Fix-It. He just came down whilst I was in the middle of this journal and said, is this any good to you? Is it any good to me? I think so. I'm having that. Um, and this is a little, um, well, it's a paper clip and it's got a um, snippet roll on it. If you'd like to know how to make those, um, comment and I'll show you how to make those. This opens up. Um, just a journaling card, a big journaling card, and then it's got journaling here and a uh, journaling card there, and they just fold around this big journaling card. So long since I've seen this, I can't actually remember what's in it anymore. And that must have a pocket, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Additional pocket I'd forgotten about. But that um, machine embroidery thing is just gorgeous. I love it. And I love those uh, safety pins, um, paper clips. So, yeah, that's the back of that bit that comes out, which is on silk. This is silk. Here's a little um, notebook on a belly band. Uh, plenty of lace and pearls and blah, blah. Here we've got the back of that with another belly band. A bit of velvet down here. Lovely texture. Uh, two tags and then in the back this is a beautiful pocket I love it this green here was actually a color piece you know um, I think of Victorians when I think of color pieces but I'm quite sure that people have worn them after that um, and they're shaped to, to sew onto your dress well Mr Fixit found me uh, this a pair of them in a charity shop and I've used it there with some lace behind it to make this really lovely corner pocket. I think it's really lovely. And here we have uh, just a little fold out really. It's just a little journal in there, some journaling paper, um, images, card, tags. Um, get in and it just all folds up and it ties. I like this organza ribbon, I must say, um, and I, oddly, I haven't got any in pink. So that ties up there and it goes into this back page, which is that lovely pocket, which is, I made it, what I did was I put the put this on the page and then I spread that over. So I, I made sure that I had enough thickness allowance, if you get my drift. And that's just the back page, which is flat. I always make my back pages flat so as they'll lie down nicely. So that is a ring bound journal. That's what they do. Um, and so, as you see, you can have quite a lot of thickness um, with the pages of a ring bound journal. Lots of thickness. Um, so there we go. That's that. Not the two ring, but you can go up to. Yeah, this is that's a two ring because it's quite sm quite small, really. Um, and the one we're doing at the moment for the giveaway is a three 
ring journal and it's bigger and it's gonna have loads of stuff in it so that's that i quite like that actually i enjoyed making that ah <sighs> what do you think sherry paper clip please i'll do that i'll write a note to myself and do that um tomorrow i'll do that tomorrow um the embroidered card i know isn't he clever eh oh hilda thank you it is not nice to look at your work, Fiona. Is it not nice? Mm. <laughs> Sherry Rawson, very nice. Oh, thank you very, very much, Sherry. I'm glad you're enjoying what, you, what you're seeing. Right, look, basically, I'm running out of time. I mean, you know, it was, it was always going to happen, and it's happened. And as you know, I've got tuna pasta bake coming my way. And I'm starving. Starving Marvin. Right then, so what have we achieved today? <laughs> Not an awful lot really, is it, eh? I need to glue that down, which is gonna shorten my pocket. Um I might I might just cut it up actually to there, because I want this whole pocket. And I want to put I want to make a nice big tag to go in there all the way down to the bottom you'll see that tomorrow when i'm uh, with you then you'll see what i've been up to this is pretty i like that so yeah basically guys this is what we've done today shane wants to know if you show how to make the notepads yeah i'll do that as well tomorrow i need a i need i need a note here myself Paper clips and notepads. Yeah, we'll do those tomorrow. And I'll also show you a, how to make a snippet roll. It's kind of the same family as the paper clips, to be honest, but they're really um, useful, very useful embellishment. Well, guys, once again, thanks so much for joining me. It's been fun. I've had fun. I hope you've had fun. I'll saw around there and uh, make the, ta the appropriate tags before you join me tomorrow. Same time, same place. I hope you're all there. Thanks so much. Bye, everyone. <laughs>